Quick question, how can you create evolving complex sounding textures with one shot samples? You know, you know those uh, from the sample packs, it's usually called one shot sample, it's one note maybe and maybe some evolving stuff in there already but uh, sometimes you know we can improve those right that's the, that's the whole point of uh, those sample packs use it as a starting point and then evolve it build something out of that you know and uh, yeah in this week's video I want to share a simple easy way to create complex sounding evolving sounding textures out of those one shot samples um, I was surprised by myself you know but uh, it's very simple you can use the tools you already have at your fingertips if you use Ableton Live uh, a Max for Live device and also a freeware tool called Valhalla Supermassive uh, which is currently my uh, favorite tool to use for uh, textures and whatnot you know if you follow this channel a, li a little bit um, I used it for the previous couple um, videos already but uh, still this is a simple four step formula that you can follow along if you like uh, to create um, complex sounding evolving textures like I said using the raw minimal or micro house tracks so yeah let's get started before we do so as always if you're new on this channel or if you're already following me on this channel for uh, a little bit but haven't downloaded my one tool Ableton Live preset pack I highly recommend doing so because then you get on my email list you get something for free of course as a gift and also you get some exclusive stuff when you're on my email list some stuff that is that is exclusive and not seen on this channel but yeah if you want those one tool Ableton Live preset pack that can that is basically a Ableton Live stock plugin focused pack but uh, is designed to quickly spark fresh ideas fresh uh, inspiration to infuse into your track so you also can maybe sound more complex um, if you want that if this sounds interesting to you go go and grab it on the link below or also click here somewhere uh, in the video on the link so yeah now let's jump over to this week's video hope you like it let's create some evolving textures with one shot samples hope you like it all right so for this week's video um yeah this is basically the loop that i came up with and i want to add some you know and stuff, textures and whatnot, some metal, melodic stuff, right? So let's get started. So first thing is really find this a one-shot sample that you like, right? So check out some from Silapex's sample pack here. Let's make it a little bit longer to release. And as you can see, I trigger it with MD Snake, right? That's most most of the time in my tracks, you know. And we already get something running, with just one some one shot sample, right? Step number two is add a reverb. In my case, it's a free reverb from Valhalla. It's a, it's a super massive. It's one of my favorites at the moment for uh, reverb and stuff can create cra crazy textures and whatnot so yeah let's try this out So yeah, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Um, let's go to the darker vibe road. So this is another one shot sample that I picked from the same sample pack actually. Um, now, what I like to do is use the filter, you know, and play with it and record it. So that's the next step, right? Simply play and record to audio if you want. Um, with the filter and there's also different circuits right in, inside the filter setting and my tip is to use the Pierre D uh, circuit because it creates some harmonic stuff like this one right listen to this
just to give you an example how simple it, it, it can be, right? With the filter, with the one shot sample, with the MD snake to trigger it. get some really nice harmonics with this uh, filter circuit that we've chosen, right? I'm just jamming around here, testing different things out, how it sounds, you know, and the Valhalla Supermassive does the rest, right? You can also get some nice effect sounds out of it, cut them out if you want and use them later in your arrangement, right? So step number four, um, let's make a, an adaptive version li like, um, like uh, a thing that we can basically use later on in the arrangement to make it more complex, to create some kind of tension and release using different settings on the MD snake like playback um, direction maybe playing with the resonance a little bit with the drive maybe sorry Let's record that as well. You we never know what comes out of experimentation, right? So I want to make sure that I have it. And I possibly can use it later on. Get some nice words and whatnot on the tops. Yeah, let's test it out how it sounds with the other recording together. If we get some more complex layered sounds maybe. Let's copy that quickly and let's play them both together. It's probably not everything harmonic, but um, we can cut the good part out, right? Uh, or the bad part, if you want to. I can already see that peak. I think that's probably not the best part, I think. I will cut it. I will cut this out. Maybe, maybe this one, or use it as an effect later on. But I would say, in general, we generated some complex sounding stuff with just one simple one-shot sample from the Sunt and Valhalla MD Snake plus some jamming out with the filter. 
pretty simple I would say. You can adapt it to any kind of sound that you can think of as long as it's uh, a long kind of sound. So let's try it out with uh, found sound, ambience kind of sound to create a layer, some kind of noise maybe, let's see. some build-ups or whatever this technique also works very, really fine if you want or we'll use the, the LFO here right to create some tops swirls the panning setting pitch is not the best thing to do but here the pan maybe and the filter Try out a different sample, some ambient stuff maybe. Actually not the ambient, it's more like a telephone kind of thing, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, it's, it's kind of a noisy thing, I don't know. But you can really experiment with those kind of different sounds. I think you can come up with some interesting stuff, like you can hear some space sounds that you can layer on top of the other stuff to make it even more complex if you like, you know. I don't know if you like this, but uh, personally I really like this. It sounds complex, it sounds... Context. I think we could use it in a track. What do you think? Um, yeah, and I would say now it's your turn to sum it up again. Number one, choose a one shot sample that you like. Synth, synth one, sh one shot sample will do it. Trigger it with MD Snake, for example. It's freeware. Pair it with um, Walhalla Super Massive and then play around with the filter and uh, yeah record have fun experimenting and hopefully you come up with some interesting stuff by following this uh, simple framework cheers hope to see you next week don't forget to download my one tool Ableton live preset pack that uh, also can generate generate new ideas and more can add more complexity uh, to your sound sorry i'm stumbling over my word because it's a little bit late by uh, when i record this okay i'm out thanks for watching cheers bye bye